Welcome friends, this is Immanuel Khan from Thoughtful Gaming and this is a Planful Revelations preview campaign start that will go into the regular campaign. We'll look into the secrets of the Harry Tour together. You might have a few questions, I'll answer them shortly. This is not only a short gig, it's meant to stay. We'll play through the campaign together. We'll do it on the hardest difficulty and it will be a blind run. I like to enhance the experience a bit, not by like screaming or strange effects, but by things like storytelling and experiencing the story together, some voice acting, things like that. So it's more a role play based commentary, but it's hardest difficulty gameplay. I got this preview key for free from Paradox, but I'm not a professional and I'm in no way affiliated with them. Now let's go and dive into the history of the Harry Tour. Together, let's go for some revelations on Obulus. Five, a liberated indentured, seeks to restore the name of his house. Marlock Tenor, we'll have here of the Syndicate. Syndicate are a group of ruthless trading houses from the frontiers of the Empire. With a Star Union gun, they see a universe of opportunity. We have uh, uh, two times of weapons groups, psionic weapons, which I like a lot, and uh, indentured slave units in that ignore moral penalties and excellent stealth capabilities and covered operations. That's going to be very nice. We'll, of course, modify that to expert and hero resurgence to never, because, yeah, that's the way we play. Let's go for, this, for the Star Union Galaxy. Here we go. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. House Faron was once great among the Syndicate, respected by its rivals, feared by its enemies. Until the unthinkable happened, and my grandfather brought poverty and shame to our family. We were dispossessed, banned from business, and our bloodline sold into slavery. I served our sentence as an indentured soldier, fighting foreign wars until my freedom would be earned. A tough fate, I see. In my misery, I found the most unlikely of all companions, a re-enslaved Kirko, though his fate was worse than mine. Until Esran's spirits were high, and his will unbroken, he told me of the ancient Estec who had chosen him as their prophet, and could lead my family to redemption. At first, I laughed at him, but when he drained the very essence from one of our overseers, the situation changed. Together, we made our escape. We see that one talking here is a very young one, like from, from the voice. My new ranks filled with liberated indentured and exiles continue to grow. We're now on our way to Obelisk 5, a planet once famous for its rich history and ruins. At least, officially. But away from touristic attractions, adventurers and raiders from all across the Union followed the allure of the past and its secrets. According to Atil Esra, this is where the Aztec went into hiding many millennia ago. So we're going to find the mysterious Aztec, hopefully. We'll search for them at least. Look at this, this is too... Is this two hands from from the sands? What are they grasping? Obelisk 5 is in visual range. I see why so many treasure hunters were once drawn here. The entire planet seems to breathe mystery. Despite all this, the Aztec have never been found. Sounds like unearthing their history will require more than some old-fashioned tomb reading. Indeed, and that's why we'll dive into that and reveal their secrets, as you can see. There's a lot of land and not much water. We need to find the legacy of the Aztec. Prepare for planet fall. Beautiful clouds. And of whom have we here? Marlock again speaks. The Silver Sparrow has landed and built its new nest. We scanned this area from orbit. There are plenty of ruins to comb through. Finding the Estek within all this rubble will be like looking for a needle in a haystack. And Hattel, Ezran, 
This is where you are at fault, my friend, when the Aztec religion was banned, and my brothers and sisters went into hiding. We did not abandon our sanctuaries to later be stumbled upon by some lowly looters. Moving rocks is not going to do us any good without the insight of a true believer. Breaking the Aztec code is like solving a puzzle where the different pieces are revelations and the strings connecting them. The memories of the right people from the right era. I carry the aspect of Randola in my mind, and his intuition is telling me the next sign is close. You speak in riddles wrapped in thick layers of mystery, but we have been through too much hardship together to doubt your judgment in this moment of truth. Go and follow the path that is laid out before you, while I wait for my mother and the rest of House Ferron to join us down here on the surface. So we're going to be alone with Teno looking at the surface. The landing. Wait for the second mothership to land on Obulus 5. That will give us influence. Here we go. Let's go for the first revelations near the hand of Remensis that we saw. That we saw in the preview. Have, have, yeah. Bring Huttle as run to the place from his vision and let him commune with the Aztec artifact. The hand of Remensis. What is it? What does it want to grasp? Or is it is that some kind of prayer? So here we've got Hathill. Should bring him over here. And we have Marlock Tino. Here we should wait for the mothership mothership. And let's see about this. We can win by finding the remnants of the old Aztec religion. Yeah, that's something we want to reveal and of course all the standard things apply as well. Let's see about our good commanders. We have Marlock Tenor here. Nice gun we have. A pulse repeater. Very strong primary weapon and a nice psionic grenade let's see i mean he looks like he could be a leader focused on uh, ranged combat maybe let's see if we can give him some mods we have something to spend let's see focus flames that might be good flanker the Mantra of Clarity. Yeah, the, the Mantra of Clarity that fits him. right? He's young, but he has a very clear mind as what to do and what not to do. You can focus him on flaming and that's about all we can afford at this point. So let's do it like that. And probably there's mind control immunity overwatch. This probably means we're going for dead eye and range specialist. We don't know yet which people we're going to lead, so uh, mm -hmm. we can go for more experience from anomalous sites. That only makes sense roleplay wise. So we're going to give him that. The hero and their army earn 50% more uh, experience. We know more from anomalous sites. We can analyze them better. Aha, uh -huh. the resource costs are also lower. We're going to choose that. It fits so much. And then we have our seer here. Hatil Ezran. I'm going to wait for him though. Mm. And I think we could maybe go together. So let's see who we have here. We have a runner. And we have the indentured. Maybe leave two of the indentured behind here. 
Silver Sparrow calling the crow's nest. We made it down without complications, sir. Setting up operations. So far, no hostiles detected. The status up there. Are the landing preparations progressing according to plan? An Easter of House Faron, our house says. So, your bug friend didn't manage to get everybody killed yet. What a relief. Planetfall will proceed as scheduled, as had to be expected with someone capable in command. But for the last time, Marlock, stop using your childish code names. I am to be addressed as Lady Ista of House Faron. That is even ignoring the 18 honorary titles I inherited as head of our family. You mean the titles that we were stripped of? We lost all property and privilege. If it wasn't for my bug friend, you would likely still be eking out your existence as a more decadent pleasure girl, sister. Oh no, mother even. Guard your tongue, son. You are underestimating the influence I already had over Lord Ardelli. So she had that kind of influence, right? He's kind of right, but he's also kind of wrong. If you and your little rebellion hadn't intervened, I would have had him wrapped around my little finger soon enough. But speak no more. It is time for the lady of the house Ferron to withdraw and prepare her, prepare her arrival. So, the, the founding ones. We have an overseer. Yeah, the indentured. We're going to take another indentured. Move him here. And then... We probably want to use Hattil. Take Hattil with us in the adventurers group. And... Yeah, one of the runners. Here we go. Now... We'll head over there. As quickly as we can. Leave these two behind to guard the rear. And let's see what can help our colony. Hmm. At this point we like to grow quickly. Let's give us more food to rely on. Let's make that quick. Hmm. Does not change. Then we'll grow that way a lot quicker. The intent is the control of an asset, not its destruction. True power is the proper application of force at the precise point to exploit a weakness. Commandant Six Tavulpix of House Qual Tali. That sounds uh, fitting the color <laughs> a little bit. <coughs> yeah, that's the, about the cliche, right? The dominion of purification we've also found out about. Hatil, yeah, we've already played with Hatil, and we have, yeah, that the cleansing pulse. That's going to help a lot. This below medicative, yeah. The cleansing pulse will help us a lot. Let's see what we can do in the next round here. Yeah, these these two will guard the rear. And our friends here will go forward. The time has come. They should be ready to descend. What is the situation, Mother? Will Lady Ista of House Ferron bless this planet with her presence? Ista, why do I detect a slight note of cynicism in your voice? I hope you won't continue to disappoint me with lapses of this kind. The ship is ready for planet fall. We'll be going down in three, two, one. Betsa, they are going to explode. The transmission is suddenly cut. 
Oh, you can still hear our static noises. I knew it. We have to find her, or what's left of her. Mother, what happened? Respond for the love of your 18 titles. Nothing, damn it. We need to quickly gather a rescue party and check the landing site. Objective completed. There's the landing site of the second ship. Well, the one hand is mother, but we are so close to this. We have to do it now. Or at least in the next round. Here we go. And what will we expand on? Maybe magnetic energy storage. Phase manipulation. I like that. Walking through obstacles for units is pretty great. And for our society, what are we going to do here? Diplomatic niceties? Mm. Well, the noble diplomats will help us a lot in gaining more influence and energy, so that's going to be a good idea. Let's maybe start with that and develop it further quite soon. We want to find out about the revelations now. The Aztec Essence Pool. The Aztec Essence Pool is an ancient ritual place that has re-emerged after lying dormant for an undefined amount of time. It is used to bestow essence draining infusions upon weaponry. Armies that have visited the Aztec Essence Pool gain Aztec enhancements until the end of their next combat. All non-entropy attacks made by this unit have eight strength champs to attack energy drain and grant this unit essence charge. Okay, okay. So we commune though, that's why we are here. With a hand of remensis. Need a round for that. We can go claim our first sector. What do we have here? Ruins volcanic. Hmm. Maybe not wise to claim just at the start. What about the mask mountains? That seems like a nice thing. And what will we have here? The history generator. Yeah, that's going to be a good one, but we'll rather wait. There's another volcano here. Nah, that's not wise as a, at the start. And this also gives us there's a forest here. And it's also arid, giving us good chances at producing something for us. What about the plummet peaks uh, and an uninhabitable mountain? The blueberry baju, that sounds good. The scalding grove with an abandoned quarry. I think we'll rather go down here later, so let's choose the Mask Mountains to annex. Production ready. Our bio farm has started, and we're going to get a lot more food right now. Let's accelerate our growth and choose our next steps. The syndicate Overseer, the Syndicate Enforcer. The Syndicate Enforcer sounds kind of cool. We like to enforce things. Let's go for that. We have these ones. Um, I think we'll we'll join the others. Maybe we can pick up something here. What's that? Another Marauder Guard. Had some orders required. We, we, yeah, we were communing. 
And I think we need to wait one turn for that. Let's see. We meet a golem. All faithful rejoice, for Creator sends us this emissary. With the return of the Aztec, our curse will be lifted. Our endurance and suffering will finally be rewarded. The Obsidian Guardians, I recognize the honored husks from my symbion's memory, says Hatil Isran. This isn't good. Those that cannot see Regenesis should never return to the waking world. Why did you leave your post in the Eternal Vaults, Guardian? We don't remember. Since the curse inflicted us, we are rotting away, our essence leaking into the fangs of entropy. There was nothing left in the underworld to consume. Here on the surface, we can continue to fulfill Creator's commandments. You are one of the Aztec, your essence still preserved in the holy image of Creator. You must lift our curse, end the corruption that is tormenting us. Take one of our desolate brothers, let him feast on the holy sites, speak the incantations and purify him to the essence he consumes. Hattil says, I recognize these patterns from the memories of my Aztec sembiant. The hand that takes is the hand that gives. I can trace the echoing essence to its fountain, and it has dried out, lost its sustenance and function. By imbuing it with the essence I collected during your journeys, our journeys, I should be able to return it its purpose. And we see an RPR stalker. Passive scans conclusive. Formula E detected. Hibernation mode interrupted. Something robotic. Surfaces updating. Pending orders. Connection failed. Re-employing fallback protocols. Formula E must be eradicated. Targets acquired. Termination in progress. Objective completed. I have an essential cure. Take the forgotten to the holy sites of the Aztec and let them consume new purified essence to cure their sickness. They have deadly sins. The communion seems to have attracted enemies. It looks like those killer robots were waiting for someone to activate the Aztec artifact. They have the staff of the point if it's rumored. So we've got someone here. Let's go for a juicy fight tonight. May we? Star Union diplomatic data. You find remnants of diplomatic reports dating all the way back to the golden age of the Star Union. Among the reports is data on several negotiation techniques which we can study to increase our influential power on this planet. But now... A desolate forgotten. It's even an army commander. Oh, that's, that's the army commander. Look at that. It's, we dreamed of living forever. Now we hide in tombs of our own making. There's only one mind left in this dark place. It thrives on vengeance. It demands everything. Nothing left to give. Our hatred twists and festers down here. The compound seethes with malice. Even the drained are tainted by malice fight our enemies, but consume the essence for themselves. They don't share it with the commune. Our dream is lost. Will I become one of the desolate when I'm drained? Elden Squall recovered. Heritor logs. That's a good question. Now, let's give us maybe something else, right? A little bit more is probably going to be good. Let's fight. Whoa. Oh, two elite enemies even. 
and the RPR stalker. Here we go. It was a dry and hot day in the mountain deserts near the Aztec site. And we saw An odd robot holding a strange staff. And two... Bladed... Beings. They seemed experienced. Overwatching too. Oh, we've got Marlock here. We can play the Overwatch game as well. Until though... Essence Link. While the Link is active, both units... Ah, yeah. We can shield our friend here. Let's do that. I mean, they're buddies. They're going together. Our indentured slaves are going to help us taking control of the situation. Behind the rocks we will be safe, hopefully. Hmm. Shield up for now. Another runner. We'll wait here, I think. Another overseer. We'll wait behind here. There's a round of indentured people. We'll try to join up our main army. Oh, look at that. The forgotten. We'll wait. And another indentured. Marching over. Let's Operations go. Operations available. Oh, very good. They're awaiting us. Let's see what we can do. They have a cleansing pulse. Hmm. The diversion projector. We could blind them. Or we could blind one of them at least. The one that is overwatching us. Ah, overwatching here. Maybe we can get closer here. Indeed, we can. Ha! Took them on. You dare to come closer? Oh, so close. What is our range? Mm. Risky to choose a weapon like this. If we're above them, we might be safer. us. 
shields up, my friends. Ready for revitalization? Will we be? We need to be very, very watchful. And also we need to attack into this direction. Charge. Here we go. One of the more desolate. Here we go. Let's guard the rear. Ah! Wow! What jumps they make? That thing is cloaked. PT. Wow! What shots! Ah! The toxins! Even stunned now! Thankfully, we've got a Psychic staff here. Damage will be done. Enemy destroyed. That is very helpful. What can we do here? To move back. That will go with an Overwatch. 90%. Here we go. That's better. Good riddance. And now a power blast. Maybe we move in a bit. Oh, so close. Still, we need to try. And it worked. It worked. That was a very good way now. My goodness. We need to run in there. We'll probably lose this. Indentured. Well, I encountered right at the start. It's the only way, eh? Move back a bit for the chance to get out of some poisoning. And one hit at least. Mm. I need to try that again. And it resisted again. Wish us luck. Ah! We have another chance to save our people. This must be the way. Let's move in.
oh so close but look at that it teleported it somehow what happened there if i knew that i would have move in it needs to be eliminated Oh, so close, too close. No. Enemy eliminated. The Syndicate rules supreme. <sighs> oh, so close. Just barely getting through it. And one indeed. Whoa. Hattel, are you right? What in the eight gilded dynasties were those things? Liquidators from the second era. These robots are merciless killing machines. We presumed them lost in the dusts of time. But alas, it looks like the scourge of the Istic is still lingering on this world. Then let us make sure to be better prepared the next time we face them. Still, the question remains how they found us so quickly. Could it have something to do with this essence technology you've been using? Unfortunately, we were never able to fully understand the nature of the RPR robots, but it is true that the harvest of essence can reap unexpected consequences. You may have already noticed the blight spread over Obulus V, turning much of its surface into batches of badlands and cold barrens. I suspect this is a symptom of the planet slowly being drained of its essence. When I communed with the Estic artifact, I could trace the essence through the unfolding land until I found a point of culmination where all the ley lines converged, a crypt-like structure hidden somewhere below Obulus V's surface. Sadly, my inner eye could not unravel its location, leaving us with another mystery. Speaking of mysteries, our database lists a number of religious sects centering their faith on Obulus V during Star Union days. I wouldn't be surprised if some of their holy relics turned out to be Aztec artifacts. Checking their cult sites could be a worthwhile endeavor. And we're tasked to find the Harito crypt. There's an Aztec crypt hidden on Obulus V. This is precisely what I told Ezran had been looking for. You will need to learn of its exact location. The crypt. Sects of the Star Union. To uncover the location of the Heritor crypt, you should pay the various cult sites on Obulus V a visit and search their archives. We'll get the Psy Stone of Misfortune from that. We should visit the Celestian sect. That sounds like sky oriented. Find and enter the temple of the Celestian sect on Obulus V. The shrine of the smiling dove sounds peaceful. Could be the opposite. Visit the Sinumbra sect. Find and enter the temple of the Sinumbra sect on Obulus V. The chapel of the abyssal edge lords. Been on the edge. Visit the divine investment sect. Oh my goodness, that sounds like old ancient Christians. Find and enter the Temple of the Divine Investments. Faith on Obulus V, the Temple of Blingjack 90k. <laughs> Objective completed. The deadly sins, though, are complete now. We have the Staff of the Paintive now. The Staff flares and drains the essence of the target. and enables us to overwatch as well. Wow. Take that reward. It will be good for Hattil, right? What else do we have? A forgotten dwelling discovered. The dwelling of the rotting catacomb. What is that? Who lives there? An NPC dwelling. No, and a sector base. Sector annexed. Nice. So we have the Mask Mountains now. 
and we can exploit it. Let's see what would be the best choice for the sector again. I think it was production still. Yeah, production is definitely the way. And we could go for that sooner rather than later, let's see. What will we do? What will we go for next? Now yeah, we had an essential cure. Maybe that will help us. Mm. Ah, that's maybe a little bit, a little bit too much. We should visit our home here, though, and with our army. We will move forward and try to see what we can find here first and then dive into more encounters we on the other hand will see each other in the next episode when we explore more of the strange forests and the mysterious temples of our new home see you soon my friends and happy gaming to you this is Immanuel Khan signing out may the guide you